Samsung's brand new big dog goes up against Apple's big dog. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And here is your quick look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 versus the Apple iPhone 6 Plus. Starting off with the Galaxy Note 5, we will say that the Galaxy S series was never quite recognized for its design, but that changed with the S6. The Korean manufacturer has adopted the same changes with the Note 5. It comes with the same sleek, unibody metal design sandwiched by a glass front and back. The only real difference is that the curved edges of the Note 5 are on the back instead of the front, giving it a bit of a good feel. Apple will have a harder time competing with the new Note handset, and that is because the 6 Plus is housed by that aluminum unibody design that we're all so familiar with, and both phones are gorgeous and made of solid materials making the aesthetic battle a little bit more of a subjective one. Do you prefer glass or metal? Regardless of your choice, all we can hope for is that the Galaxy Note 5 isn't prone to bending, which was a popular issue for Apple's gargantuan smartphone. But aside from the obvious differences, both phones are actually kind of similar. They both have the volume rocker on the left side, the power button on the right, and the home button that doubles as a fingerprint reader. And in addition, both carry protruding cameras on the back. Uh, but the Galaxy Note 5 does have its main trump card, which is of course the S Pen. Now it is loaded into the bottom right and a small pin can be snapped out from the actual pen itself that has a clicky top now uh, and it is from there that you can pull on it in order to remove the S Pen. In the battle of displays, the Note 5 comes with a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED display and the iPhone 6 instead comes with a full 1080p resolution IPS LCD display which equates to a far inferior 401 pixels per inch compared to the 515 that the Note 5 has. Needless to say, the Note 5 will offer much crisper text and clear images, but those who really worry about color reproduction know that IPS LCD displays generally offer more accurate colors. But on the other hand, some of us do love the deep blacks and highly saturated colors that Super AMOLED panels are known for. Now, as always is the case with Android versus Apple, it's kind of hard to compare the phone's performance levels as specifications don't tell us too much yet, but the difference in the components themselves are huge. The Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is amazingly speedy with its octa-core Exynos processor, which made the Galaxy S6 absolutely fly. On the other hand, Apple's A8 chipset is no bad contender, but that is because Apple has a completely different ecosystem in the iOS. Multitasking is where Android really shines though, and the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is bound to be more resourceful due to its 4GB of RAM, which quadruples that of the iPhone's mere 1GB. That being said, the multi-window is something we're very used to in the Note 5, and finally Apple was able to make multitasking a part of the iPhone 6 Plus. It might look a little bit more elegant, but ultimately multitasking is something that the Android device will really shine through with, especially when you consider its additional S Pen. But when it comes to hardware, additional specs might seem pretty similar. There's no real support for micro SD or removable batteries in either device, and both sport pretty fast fingerprint readers. Apple does have a bit of the upper hand in the storage department because the options go up to 128GB while the Note 5 will just have 32 and 64 And battery life might be pretty similar with both devices having pretty big um, units, especially the Note 5 having 3000mAh in its unit, while Apple's battery is a little bit smaller at 2915. Unfortunately, the real battle here is not one we'll be able to do for a little while, and that is the camera. We're still waiting for our Note 5 review unit to come in, and it's at that point that we will do a camera shootout between these two and see which one fares better in picture quality. But the iPhone 6 Plus camera simply in specs doesn't seem like it will be able to beat the Note 5's camera, and we already had a great experience with the Note 4 and then the following S6, so we really do think that the Samsung cameras will continue their great quality. Now, the Note 5 sports the same sensor and technology we saw in the Galaxy S6 series and that device still holds one of the best smartphone cameras in the industry so we're excited to see where it goes here. And now we have the obviously polarizing section of the comparison. This is because Android and iOS are completely different. And we've said it time and again, your preference between Android and iOS is a very subjective matter. Android may be superior in customization, has a more open ecosystem, and offers much more flexibility to the user. On the other hand, iOS is simpler, intuitive, and tends to be better with updates. It is the better option for those who want a phone to just work rather than avoid longer setups. But where the Note 5 will really shine is in its software features. Samsung usually puts a huge focus on these, so you will be much more productive if you actually take advantage of all of the gestures, the multitasking tools, and the S Pen features, of which the Note 5 really focuses on with features like the screen off memo and the scroll capture, the two new ones that are available here in the enhanced S Pen that feels even better than before. 
So in the end, which one is really better? Well, we can't really say yet because we haven't given our full comparison of these two devices, but we will say that as it has been for all comparisons to Apple devices, it really comes down to what you want out of your smartphone. The direct answer is that the Note 5, especially on paper, just has a better camera, is more powerful, and has a wider array of software features that could make you more productive. The 6 Plus is an older smartphone by now, but it could win if you prefer its aesthetics and its software, or if you need more internal storage. Obviously, by our book, though, we do prefer everything that the Note 5 gives. Uh, but for the general users out there, the Note 5 just might be one of the best Android devices that we've seen thus far because it piggybacks off the success of the S6, which we already loved earlier this year. Stay tuned for even more about the Galaxy Note 5, including more quick looks and our first look here at AndroidAuthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.